Okay guys, I'm here once again with another informative video. I'm here to tell you, you all are being bamboozled by the big carriers, um, including T-Mobile, Sprint, um, uh, US Cellular, Verizon. So, um, I'm here to show you this uh, reason fact, and I know a lot of you all are not going to you know, go out and do this. But for those of you who want to know, calls and texts have always been free. Um, not only that, but um, with this device I have, once again, the Exxon ZTE 7, the ZTE Exxon 7 is a dual SIM device, which means I can use more than one SIM card in here. And yeah, I know like Google's putting out Project Five, where you got three networks in one, or actually four if you include Wi-Fi. Um, but if you don't want to pay, if you don't want to pay for the Project Five service or go out and buy an expensive ass phone like the Pixel, Pixel Two, or Nexus, you don't want to spend four hundred dollars. You don't want to spend three hundred. You don't want to spend five hundred, six hundred, eight hundred, whatever. Um, this device was at Best Buy. I don't know if they're still selling it now, but not too long ago, it was still at Best Buy. The Exxon 7 was $199, fully unlocked, well, for the GSM, fully unlocked. You can use SD card or you can use two SIMs for calls and text, one for calls and text, and then one just for data. But um, I've been doing some tinkering with this device. Well, it's not really tinkering. It's just been trial and error with this device. As you all may know, I do use the Freedom Pop uh, Global SIM card with WhatsApp Unlimited. So I get the Freedom Pop app that does not get touched by data because of calls and texts don't use data. Um, and the WhatsApp, which is zero rated, on Freedom Pop's global SIM service, if you were able to sign up to it at the time, um, means it doesn't touch data for calls and texts. If I wanted to call somebody over WhatsApp, if I wanted to text, use emojis, anything involved in the WhatsApp, um, it won't touch my data. Now, I know I put out a video maybe a month or so ago talking about they might be supporting YouTube. No one has gotten back to me about the YouTube videos being zero rated on WhatsApp application with Freedom Pop Global SIM card. Um, but for the basic uses of Freedom Pop Global SIM, calls and texts, really don't use up your data. It don't use up your data, okay? Yeah, you have a minimum of calls and texts on a West, on a Freedom Pop um, application, but the WhatsApp is unlimited and it's free calls and texts. All right, so there's my two pointers for the Freedom Pop Global SIM card in the ZTE um, XI7 device. Also, I've come um, I've come across this um, that the TextNow app on TextNow Wireless doesn't use data. So your calls and texts are actually free on TextNow Wireless, but you're paying for the data. What I mean, you paying for the data is you paying for like if you're using. Um, if you're watching YouTube or you're on Facebook, Twitter, you know, your social networks and your, your media apps like Spotify, Netflix and stuff like that. Yes, those parts of the service uses your data, but you also get 2G Unlimited as well. So 2G is good enough for video chats on Skype, video chats on WhatsApp um, and things in that sort. So you can still use 2G for video calls audio, um, messaging, and all that stuff like that, okay? So, with the TextNow wireless service, TextNow app doesn't use data. It just shows up like that in the Android system because it's just collecting data. I mean, it's just collecting whatever app's being used at that time. That's what it's supposed to do. And it, and that's all. It's not really saying it's falsifying, but I've, I've even used the TextNow app over T-Mobile and Sprint, and it does not touch my data at all for calls or texts. Now, um, also, once again, I've come to uh, this next radio, 
app, which I did a video about and I spoke about in the other previous videos. This app does not use your data. <laughs> Music doesn't use your data, people. I'm here to save a lot of people money. I'm here to save a lot of people frustrations. Um, this is why I think Android is destroying globally because of the simple fact the smallest stuff you can do with your devices and that data is pretty soon it's just going to be wi-fi and you know i've been talked about this um other videos how to get internet and stuff for free so technically you can get that stuff for free it's just are you willing uh, to go out of your way and get a couple of sim cards like from text now friend or pop and are you willing to use a certain device that can give you the freedom that you you really want and it is to be honest it's worth it and like i said like most apps give you the option to download like movies for offline access so anything you download doesn't touch your 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 data it's only if you're streaming if you already have it downloaded in your device it's it's, it's already saved on your device which means all you have to do is go to your folder your file and open it and it will not touch your data so once again i post this on google plus facebook twitter everyone's using their smartphones wrong and you all might be thinking like oh this is ridiculous dude we're well, not gonna go through all that trouble to you know free up some stuff but for people that don't want to spend hundreds of dollars a month or even 80 bucks or 90 dollars a month on a phone service your music is free, calls and texts are free, video calls are free, okay? I'm here to let you all know that now. All this stuff is actually free. The only thing is not really, really free for real is watching like movies, unless you download it to your device already. And Google Maps has um, certain um, settings where you can have offline access to maps and directions. Um, Ebooks don't really use data ebooks is you can use without data so you can read and all that extra stuff the smallest stuff that matters really doesn't use your data okay like i said calls and text don't use your data and music don't use your data so um let me know your thoughts uh about this whole concept and everything like that um you all will be in shock all right, it's your boy Two Phones, man. I just wanted to be very informative. Just dr drop them comments. You have questions, please drop them comments. Let me know your thoughts. Um, so yeah, I'm actually getting music for free. Oh, uh, I mean, music is free regardless. Music is free regardless. Rather you go to a website, download it. The stuff is already free. I don't know why people are paying a penny for music or calls and texts. Calls and texts have always been free. Whether you on Wi-Fi or not, the stuff has always been been free. All right, so just give me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about all this?